How much pressure, meantime, did Ed Burke apply to the owner of a billion-dollar chain of Burger Kings to help him get clearance for a construction job? That was the centerpiece of today's testimony in the racketeering and bribery case that's surrounding the city's longest-serving alderman. CBS2 political reporter Chris Ty walks us through what the jury saw and heard. A man who owns hundreds of Burger Kings in this country, including a controversial one in Ed Burke's former ward, said he felt pressure to hire Ed Burke's law firm in exchange to get a construction permit greenlit. A request and a pressure he says he's not felt from any public official anywhere else in the United States. This is the undercover photo of Ed Burke inside the Burger King at 41st and Pulaski, owned by the man with his back to the camera there, Shokat Denani. This is a list of the 150 Burger Kings Denani owns in the Chicagoland area alone. A massive business Burke wanted to land for his private law firm, as captured on FBI wiretaps. But I'd also like to get some of his law business. I hear he's got 300 uh, Burger Kings here. So okay. he's somebody well, you and I should uh, try and... Uh, uh, get to know. Danani was trying to renovate the Burger King in 2017. Burke's office stalled the permitting only to green light it after Danani promised to send him business. As noted in this letter from Burke's assistant to the Danani group to reach out regarding real estate tax appeal work in the metropolitan Chicago area. On the stand Wednesday, Danani said, I told the FBI I felt I would have to give the alderman our property tax business for our permit to get going. Prosecutors widened out, asking him, had a local councilman anywhere in the United States asked to personally meet with you about a building permit? Do you recall any other instance like that? No, he said. Had you had another public official take you to lunch? No, I don't think so, he said. In all your years, had you ever had a public official ask you to hire their private business after you sought their approval for a permit? No, he said. Burke's legal team hammered home that despite promises to do so, Donati never hired Burke's firm, and in the end, the permit cleared and the job was finished. Burke's team asking Donati, you never gave Burke business and you still got your permit? Yes, he said. This episode, as it's called, surrounding the Burger King portion of this case picks up again when trial resumes Monday. At the Dirksen Federal Building, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.